here. It's the weekend. Kyle's home with me today. Tell everybody hello. He doesn't want to say hello. We tore a piano part you would have seen in an earlier video, and we did it in the house because we couldn't get it out. So there was like nastiness everywhere. Anyway, I need to clean my carpet because it's gross. And I have this chair that um, Kyle has slimed and whatever. So let me show you what I got today. So I got this today. I looked up a bunch of reviews and the Pro Heat Pet seems to have pretty good reviews as far as getting out stains. Now I'm not, I mean, I'm worried about the kids messes. So let me just show you this chair here. I've had this chair for about, I don't know, seven or eight years, but see this here? That's the color it's supposed to be. And this is where Kyle has just like slimed and put food and stuff all over the arm of the chair. So I'm gonna do this first and see if it works because somebody in the reviews said that it will take this out. So let's just see if this works. It comes with two different brushes. Look at this one. It's got like, this is hard plastic in the middle with the brushes around it. And then this one is just all soft bristles. And then the hose, and then let me get out the vacuum. Okay, I read the directions, I put it together, I filled it with water, and we're gonna tackle this spot right here. I'm gonna finish this arm of the chair and let it dry and see if we can tell a difference. Okay, here's the carpet. I'm gonna move this box. This here, you can see this lighter stuff. That's what was under the couch before I moved the couch. So I'm just gonna do one strip on here. I did half of the chair, half, I did one arm and half of the cushion. You can see what the others looks like of the kids water and everything. So I gotta wait till it dries to see if it really makes any difference. And I'm gonna do one strip on the floor here to see if you can tell a difference because I still have some water and soap left in my vacuum. And Kyle's just patiently waiting over there. Are you having fun, Kyle? He's ignoring everybody. I can't really tell much of a difference yet. I'm gonna let it dry and then vacuum it because it's supposed to bring life back to your carpet. But I'm gonna do one more spot. Look at the arm of this couch. This is what was next to that chair. This is Kyle with like all the, he's putting mayonnaise on this and yogurt on this and you name it, it's been on here. Cause let me show you what the other side looks like that he wasn't near. See there, all pretty, see here, all nasty. So I'm gonna do this too cause I still have some stuff left. Okay, here's what I did. I just did half of the arm of this chair so it would be really obvious. This wet part here, that's just water that dripped down. I didn't clean that. You can see the part I cleaned so, and I'll just a little bit on the back, but I'm gonna let this and this chair and the spot on the carpet dry overnight and let's see if we can notice a difference. I can already tell you there's going to be a difference because look at this water. I brought it outside to dump it. The great thing about this is there's only one container. So there is a bladder in here which holds the clean water inside the bladder and then the dirty water comes outside. But guys, look at this. There has to be a difference because this is disgusting. Gross. Look, you can see like the sand and stuff it picked up. Well, I guess I'll keep the carpet shampooer. Are you ready for the big reveal? Let me show you the chair and the couch. This is the arm that I did. This is the one that I didn't do. You can, uh, this half I did, that half I didn't do. You can't see a huge difference, although I did scrub this a lot more. This is soft too. This is a little hard. I need to um, scrub it some more. And then the couch, I mean, obvious difference. The back, I didn't really put much effort into, but this, look at the difference. Holy cow. And this is soft. It's not like it's hard or anything. Wowzers. Now the carpet, 
I can't see any, I see a little stain there. I'll have to see if that comes up, but I can't really see any difference between where I've shampooed and where I haven't, but I have a feeling I'm going to have to go over this several times before I see a difference. And I'll be interested to see if some of this stuff comes out. So that's the Bissell Pro Heat Pet. I got it at Walmart. Highly recommend it. It does a phenomenal job. I mean, showing you what it did is better than anything else. So that's my review of the vacuum. If you need a uh, carpet shampooer, Bissell Pro Heat Pet. That's the one. Here it is. Bissell Pro Heat Pet. Removes deep down pet messes or just people messes too. Thank you.